my practice as an attorney in the fertility field, uh, I have conversations with intended parents, surrogates, and donors uh, daily. And there are several myths that come up during the course of those conversations. Here are a few of my favorites. My sister is going to be my egg donor, so we don't need to do a psychological evaluation. I understand everyone likes, trusts, and loves their sister. However, it's very important to make sure uh, that psychologically she's going to be able to withstand and go through the entire process. Another myth. My doctor told us that we can just use their informed consent without using an egg donation contract. Absolutely false. It's vitally important that you have a contract with the donor and that you seek legal counsel. Another myth. The egg donor agency will make sure that my rights are protected, therefore I don't need legal advice. Absolutely incorrect. Indeed, if that donation is going to be used in conjunction with a surrogate, the state of California mandates that both sides be represented by legal counsel. Here's another myth. The IVF clinic will make sure that my rights are protected, therefore I don't need legal advice. Again, absolutely false. Make sure that you have legal advice to protect your interest. Here's another myth. As an anonymous egg donor, I can never be located. Technically, this is true, although practically, I always advise egg donors that they can't rely on the provision of anonymity in the contract to protect them. We live in the digital age where Facebook and Google is everywhere. Uh, so relying on a contract to make sure that you will simply not be contacted, uh, you can't rely on it 100%. I don't mean to scare any donors. However, uh, you need to be aware of the facts moving forward. Please note, however, that even if you were contacted, there is no responsibility for you as a donor to reciprocate that contact. <music>